This video is about what happens to your electric range if you lose one of your power legs, specifically L1. Many of us have seen this if you have a customer that complains that if they turn their burner switch on, the display works, but that's the only time that it does. They turn the burner switch off and the display goes out and essentially nothing else happens. Well, this is one of the reasons this is probably happening is that while well, under normal operation, your surface burner, you have L2 here on one side of it, and then you have L1 through this switch over here, and then you have a difference of 240 volts. So there's your surface burner that works just fine. Your control gets its voltage from L1 and neutral, and over here you have a difference of 120 volts. Your bake and broil element you have L2 over here uh, under normal operation. These oven relays will complete this circuit here and you have 240 volts there. So that's all normal operation. Now if you lose L1 uh, something entirely different happens. You have your L1 here gone. Your L2 is over here to the side of this element. It's over here and to the side of these uh, bake elements. But L2 cannot, can no longer complete the circuit to L1. So what happens here is it goes, it travels through the surface burner because L2 is going to try to find any voltage potential different from itself to complete a circuit. So it goes through here. It goes through this closed switch and comes over here. And what it's looking for is neutral because neutral is 120 volts different than L2. And when it goes through the surface burner, uh, we'll, we'll treat this like a resistor here because that's basically what it is, 26 ohm resistor. And it loses a little bit of voltage there, comes over here. Now you have a voltage appearing across the range control based on the effective resistance of this range control, which we're going to calculate by assuming that the range control is uses normally less than a half of an amp. Uh, we'll just say 0.4 amps and that comes out to 300 ohms. Uh, I just calculated that. And um, it's not really its impedance, but don't worry about that. We can call resistance for this uh, for the sake of a voltage divider network. That's basically what you have here. You have a voltage divider network. So this 120 volts is divided between this resistor and this resistance here. And the voltage divider network is a very simple math. You have, we'll just say this is VR1. The voltage across here is R1 divided by R2 plus R1. This is R2 times the available voltage. This actually comes out to 110 volts across the range control. And what's left is the remainder of the 120 volts, which is 10 volts. So we actually have 110 volts across this range control when you turn that switch off, because you only lose 10 volts through that surface burner. Now 110 volts is plenty enough voltage to run this control. That is just the electronics, and that's all it's going to do. When you turn that surface burner on, your display will come on. It'll, it, the electronics will essentially act normally until you do something else. So that's what happens if you lose L1, and um, you see that out in the field, that, that symptom, and you'll know to go right for L1. So it might be worth noting what happens if you lose L2. Um, obviously something different happens, and it's nothing spectacular. So if you lose L2, you still have your L1 here, and your L1 here. You got your neutral here. You have 120 volts there across the range control, and the range control will work great. The relays will work, but, but there's no voltage here, so there's no return path for the surface burner or the bake and broil element. Bake and broil, surface burner won't work, but your range control will work fine. That's if you lose L2. If you have a floating neutral, if you lose your neutral, something entirely different happens. That's gone. You still have your L2 here, and you still got your L1 here. 
but that doesn't do any good. Your range control won't work because it runs off 120 volts derived from the difference between neutral and L1. And your uh, surface burner will work though, as long as it just uses a switch like that. That's still 240 volts right there. So that'll work and your range control will no longer work. It's zero volts. And um, the bacon brill won't work either because there's nothing to turn these relays on. So that's what happens if you lose those power legs. And this is a summary right here. So basically, if you lose your L1, your display may come on when you turn a surface burner on. The surface burner might get slightly warm, you're not going to be baker broil. The, if you miss L2, then the display and oven relays will work. Uh, you won't have any baker broil and you won't have any uh, surface burners. If you're missing neutral, then the only thing that's going to happen is your surface burner will work. And that's it. Uh, I hope this has been helpful and thanks for watching.